Okay, we're in the Unity editor. This is just a, a pedestrian character I've written for the game. It's not going to be a significant element of the game. It's just some something to, something to fill the background. It's got a simple walk cycle, which you can which I can enable via a script. Uh, it just moves across the screen, and based on some random number, it'll a random timer. It'll flip around at some point. There you go. Um, I'm just moving the camera to show you that it's actually moving across the screen. Um, the whole point of showing you this is just um, simply to say, simply to um, demonstrate how easy it is to switch skins. Um, I've created one character, created the animation for one character, um, but as you can see, I change a value which I pass to the, um, the script and it loads a completely different skin. Um, I think I've got about three, three or four skins. Uh, as you can see, they're just simple squares containing all the body parts. Uh, the ten, ten twenty four by ten twenty four, and basically what I do is I just load them in a Artflow on the Samsung tablet and spend my nights drawing these characters. Um, I want I want the I want my world to be full of um, interesting things, even if the gameplay is not exactly going to be uh, groundbreaking. Um, I did actually originally rig these with. Um, colliders and uh, hinge joints um, because I wanted them to work as ragdoll physics with ragdoll physics um, which they did to a degree except uh, there's a problem with um, unity uh, unity in 2D apparently um, which means that you you can't switch or flip uh, characters or rigs across the x-axis simply by scaling them to minus one um, for some reason, it, it it flips the sprites okay, but it doesn't actually um, flip the colliders or the um, hinge joints. Here, I'm just showing you what a collider looks like. But basically, a collider is a it's a shape which you overlay onto the onto the sprites, and anything which enters that region um, will can be detected. So you can detect whether it's been cl it's collided, um, and if it's got a rigid body attached, it'll actually um, bounce off other colliders. So all the hard work of the physics is done for you. Um, but like I say, um, I never actually got it work. I, I do, I did get it working, but I can't do it. Um, I'd, I'd require two rigs, I suppose, and I'd have to um, switch models um, on the fly whenever I wanted a character to move the other way. And I, it's really not worth it for these characters, which are, like I say, just going to be in the background of the game, and uh, just to provide some interesting content whilst the um, main activity goes on in the foreground. Um, thanks for listening.